Hey, happy Mortgage Monday. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, appraisal shortfalls. So what happens if you go out and you buy a home and the appraisal does not support the price that you are paying for the home? Um, a lot of that really depends upon uh, you know your, your down payment. So there are minimal down payment requirements uh, that come into uh, qualifying for a mortgage. Um, so you know if you're 5% down, and not a first time home buyer and the appraisal comes in short of the purchase price, um, we don't really have a whole lot of options available to us uh, to, to correct that other than uh, you ponying up uh, whatever that appraisal shortfall might have been uh, to keep yourself uh, against that maximum uh, loan amount that we'll lend uh, and the purchase price of the home. Um, if you've got a considerably larger down payment, or let's say you're putting 25% down and the appraisal comes in $5,000 short, um, we may need to do nothing, right? Um, you know, you uh, ultimately might be at you know 23.2% down payment uh, against that uh, purchase price. Um, but from a lending standpoint, there's really nothing we need to do. You don't need to bring any additional money. You're just going to have a slightly lower loan to value than you might have had um, if you had done that full 25% down. So uh, this can be kind of a complex area um, and uh, something that uh, I talk to a lot of people about, especially if we end up with a shortfall in an appraisal. Um, but uh, happy to chat through your particular situation if you have questions about appraisal shortfalls prior to writing an offer on a house.